A financial expert, Dr. Alfred Brahma, has charged all financial institutions across the 15 member states to collaborate and seek more efficient ways to make the ECOWAS payment and settlement system functional in the region. He made the call during his presentation at the first 2023 parliamentary seminar of the ECOWAS parliament held in Bissau, the capital of Guinea-Bissau. In his presentation titled, the missing sequence towards ECOWAS single currency. Dr. Brahma revealed that non-implementation of the EPSS contributes to the slow pace of trade liberalization within the ECOWAS region. He stressed the need for regional central banks to clearly define procedures for managing credit and liquidity risk while signing into a well-funded legal basis for system operators and participants to ensure risk management. Uh, focus on regional integration, which and, and then because that is the case, with lots of uh, wrecks uh, happening in regional payment and settlement systems, we have no choice. We have to move. And Parliament, I plead, need to lead the way and play their role. And basically, the second one is I mean, there are lots of technological innovations taking, I mean, taking place, and, and therefore, we, we need to key into the electronic payment system. Now, and this area is growing. There are global pressures for us to standardize and be part of the global payment flow, and therefore we need to move. The last point there, the enhancement of the powers of the ECOWAS Parliament, which mandates them to perform specific roles, including advocacy to support the implementation of regional program. This is national level we need to advocate and ensure that they improve their payment system infrastructure, they encourage then we encourage standardization, then the interoper interoperability among payment networks and uh, the promotion of competition. Today, there's no competition in the payment area, and that's why the rates are that high. We need to do that. And then, of course, risk is an issue, and we need to, uh, I mean, we need to uh, help the member states uh, sort them out. And then regulation and, and supervision of the payment systems, clearly that's the role of the national central bank, but we need to, as parliament, I mean, just remind them that that is their role. And the banks will have to provide liquidity, otherwise the system will not flow. And, uh, and of course, we need to strengthen the framework to ensure that, uh, I mean, whatever transactions that are flowing through are safe and risk-free. Dr. Alfred further hinted that should the ECOWAS payment and settlement system introduced in all central banks of the region, Member states will benefit from timeliness and transparency of customs and government revenue collection for economic growth. Mobilization. The initial for the regional payment and settlement system is about 11 million. Development Bank has provided uh, 1 million for technology solution to mobilize that. We need to get a private sector in and, 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 and we need to get governments in. Your role sits between you. You are the representatives of the people. So you have a role to play with the private sector and you have a role to play with government. Meanwhile, the Director of Economic Strategy and Research, Ministry of Finance, Ghana, Dr. Hassan Idrisu, highlights challenges hindering the ECOWAS Monetary Corporation Program, adding that it has a global financial crisis which affects the microeconomic performance of member states. To build the legal systems in member countries to align with the ECOWAS objectives. Given that the majority of member states' laws are mainly not aligned to ECOWAS and its institutions' legal framework, legal training ought to be made available, um, legal curriculum of member states. We also have to strengthen coordination, as I mentioned earlier. There's an urgent need to strengthen coordination among ECOWAS regional institutions on the one hand, and between ECOWAS regional institutions and member states, finance ministries, as well as their um, central banks on the other. I talked about the problem of reaching consensus on the definition of majority member states, which have lingered for some time now. There's a need for that issue to be resolved as early as possible. Given that several meetings at both the technical and ministerial level have not yielded the required results, an option could be to possibly 
solicit the services of an independent reputable um, consultant to be hired to propose appropriate definitions for conservation. We need to build capacity not only of the ECOWAS regional institutions, but also of the experts in member states. That should be prioritized. That's so critical for addressing the challenges we are facing in terms of implementation. And ECOWAS and member states should also prioritize the sensitization of the general public on monetary integration programs. I would also like to emphasize that national statistical offices should be supported. Without data, this program will not be successful. And if you have weak national statistical offices, we will not have the required data to support the program. So there's a need for us to support national statistical offices um, to enhance their capacity to produce the needed statistics to support the monetary integration program. Experts opine that the only way to tackle inflation and promote the ECOA single currency is to bring to play EPSS to boost the foreign exchange market across international borders. Vincent Okushi, QTV News, Abuja. Audio Jump. Audio Jump.